Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll do another update on the high altitude balloon project. Hey guys, welcome back. Really glad you could join me today. Starting to get a little excited about this project now. Finally looks like I've got something. So this is where we sit at the start of today. Uh, we have our GoPro in place. The Canon with the hack for the still pictures every, I'm not sure, 20-30 seconds, depending on what I decide. Uh, my Arduino data logger with the temperature sensor out here, temperature sensor in there, barometric pressure, storing to SD card, talking to Bluetooth, all working perfectly. My cell phone running uh, GPS tracking as well as text messaging. And in the top over here, which I don't have with me right now, is my Spot Trace GPS tracker, which is now working well too. So, we're getting somewhere. We finally got something. So, this isn't the prettiest, but this is functional. Uh, the lens is retracted on the, on the still camera right now. And when it's fully extended, it extends almost completely even with this hole which I've done a really ugly job on the glue. I should really smooth that up, put another layer on. That's just there for a rip stop, and really it's not needed. This nylon is tough. That's our GoPro. Again, a little ugly with the gluing. I did the gluing on this one to keep any insulation from creeping down uh, or anything changing position, because at this stage, the GoPro doesn't stick out past the edge it's pretty much flush if it anything creeps in any further we catch it in frame in the gopro these things are crazy wide angle lens so we can't have anything get any closer and at the same time i wanted to build it up thick enough that if this thing falls on the lens it's still if there's a protrusion hits it we're still in trouble but um with this setup, it's if it lands on something flat, I'm not touching the lens even with the squish of my hand. I can't feel the lens, so we've got a little bit of room. So we can bump it into something and not have to worry about cracking the lens right before we even take off. On landing, hopefully we land fairly smooth and fairly flat. Um, probably going to tumble, but we've uh, got that looked after, I think. I think we're good. So all I've got left now... <clears throat> is to finalize, uh, I've got to get some different batteries in the camera, and uh, finalize my locations for everything and get it wedged into place. Because we can't leave that just laying loose in there. If it actually bumps into this shutter button, it'll stop the CHDK, that would be bad. The GoPro is pretty safe, it's actually, the data logger was a perfect fit to wedge the GoPro onto the side. I just got lucky there. And actually what I think, is in between this camera and the data logger. It's the perfect size for the hand warmer too. I, more good luck than good management guys. I seem to get lucky a lot. I get unlucky a lot too, but I like to think I'm lucky more often than not. So, went to the shed, dug out some pieces of, uh, I don't know what you call this stuff, uh, uh, egg carton foam. This is real high density stuff here, and this is much, much softer stuff. I'll use that to package the, excuse me, package the uh, phone and get it in there where to the point, not sure how I'm gonna do this yet, we'll figure it out as we go, and it has to be to the point where we still have enough room for this GPS tracker, and uh, we don't wanna impede that. We want to keep everything, minimize the airspace. Um, more, more than anything, just minimize the airspace. If the less open airspace we have in here, as we go up, the air is going to leave the module. Um, the density goes down to ba basically nothing. We have very little density at that that altitude that we're shooting for, and we'll get into that in another video. But as we come back down. We've got to refill this airspace in here. So we're going to get air coming in. That air is most definitely very cold at that stage. So if we can minimize the air exchange by using closed cell foam uh, as much as possible, we have very little air exchange and the heat we apply, which now, FYI, I'm down to 
probably my first test is only going to be a single hand warmer. And I think that's going to be enough, which makes the weight really good. So let's get these packed and uh, see where we end up. So in this case, guys, I think simplest is best. Scrap of foam. I think I've mentioned I'm trying to keep weight down too. Phone goes in here. I'll brace it with the hand warmer and maybe one more piece of foam. Now what I've got is this monster foam which goes down in. This wedges everything pretty darn tight and then what happens if we can pan back a little bit you'll see that the spot trace unit comes right down and rests right in it. And when we zip up the spot trace unit is guarded by its bracket on the back but it's also now face down in two inches two and a half inches of foam and even if we took a direct hit on that the spot trace unit is protected so I think this is gonna work guys it's just that simple I think we'll uh, use the kiss principle here stick with it this stuff is light Nothing should go too far, and we just need one more piece right in the corner here, or use the hand warmer itself. This, this stuff is relatively non-slip too, but it has to be braced. And uh, actually, I think what we'll do is set the hand warmer down in the side, and then use foam on this side. That way, less chance of activating the camera. Anyway, guys, I think it's time for a live, another live test with some heating, and see if we don't overheat this beast. Anyway. Thanks for watching, good luck in all your electronics adventures, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks!